Scots can run our services competently and ensure they are the best they can be. In order to do this, they must drop the divisive policies of GRA and concentrate on fixing all that has gone wrong in the last seven years. This motion would help start that process. For far too long, politicians have talked about mental health, but very little has been done to deal with it. It doesn't take a genius to know, identifying issues early helps individuals by ensuring support and therapy to be put in place to help the individual fulfil their full potential. Our children are our country's future. Why are we in the situation where many are waiting up to 36 months for the first assessment in CARMS? That is unacceptable. Not only are these children missing out on supports and therapies they are entitled to, but they are also missing out on benefits they desperately need to survive. Colleagues, we are the worst the cost of living crisis that I can remember. And like a lot of people here, we live through the three day week and the touch of government. And it's mostly Westminster that is to blame, but the Scottish Government can take action now to help those on the waiting list for a diagnosis to access the benefits they are entitled to. These long waits are seeing families lose out on a lot of money. For someone who has waited 12 months, they are losing £1,271.40 on low rate child disability allowance, or £4,804.80 if they qualify for higher rate. That does not take into account mobility payments. For those who have waited 56 months, that increases to £3,314.20 for low rate and £14,414.40 for high rate. Colleagues, that is a lot of money for families struggling to heat and eat to lose. Now here's another thing that separates us from other political parties. We don't just raise problems, we offer solutions. These waiting lists can be brought down very quickly by releasing accounts professionals from carrying out six monthly and yearly reviews of existing clients. These reviews involve taking height, weight, blood pressure and asking short questionnaires. This can be done at community level by community teams. And this would allow the accounts professionals the time they need to deal with the first assessment and bring the waiting list down quickly and efficiently, ensuring Scotland's future has the support and therapies they need so they can enjoy the life they deserve and receive the benefits they are entitled to help put food on their table and money in their meters. So to finish off, let's make this clear. While we will be united for yes, we will not stop holding this government accountable for the actions that they take or do not take. If the Scottish Government is serious about independence, then they must prove it by getting their house in order and getting Scotland services back up to the standards they were during the stewardship of Alex Salmon. I move the motion.